Okay, I'm going to show you how to perform an IPAC block. An IPAC is infiltration between the popliteal artery and the capsule of the knee. Uh, and this is something that many people add um, to the other components of knee arthroplasty analgesia. So they may well have performed a femoral triangle um, and anterior cutaneous nerve block already. Uh, and that's to get analgesia to the anterior and medial aspect of the knees. And to get analgesia to the posterior aspect of the knee, you can add in an IPAC block. I mean, there are a whole host of different ways of performing the block. Uh, you can have the patient, often if you've done the spinal, you can have the patient turning on the side, you can stick the probe at the posterior aspect of the knee and do it as if you were doing um, a popliteal sciatic nerve block, but this time going uh, not going anywhere near the nerves. Um, or you can, I've seen some people do it, and I used to do it like this. You have your probe at the posterior aspect of the leg, uh, and you bring your needle in from here, and you can just about see what I'm doing here. But what I find challenging about this approach is as the moment you start to put some pressure at the back of the knee is to work out how you're going to line your needle up. So I'm going to show you the medial, uh, the way I do it, which is the medial approach. I've got the leg straight. I'm using a low frequency curved array probe. I'm simply going to look at the top of the patella and I'm going to place the probe um, looking medially from medial to lateral on the inside aspect of the leg. Uh, and you can see here, if I just highlight with the pointer this is the femur these are the popliteal vessels or the femoral vessels and i go up the leg you'll see they're sitting up as superficial femoral artery and vein and as i slide down they're about to pop behind the knee to become the popliteal vessels so i'm going to get a nice view here where i've got femur in sight there this is superficial or uh, uh, ventral this hand side is dorsal or posterior and i'm going to aim to bring my needle in from this side of the probe and just skirt past this part of the femur and put my needle and low glance at it between the femur and the popliteal vessels so if you're imagining what what i'm asking you to do let me move that pointer off the screen so it's not distracting so if the probe is here and i said to you let's remove the probe and imagine you wanted to stick your needle in that space between popliteal artery and the capsule of the knee you'd be directing your probe like this to go behind the femur. Now what I'm going to do is introduce the probe. And you can see exactly what we need to do. So if you were going to be performing this technique, you would be bringing your needle in from here and going straight past, skirting past that aspect of the femur. Now I'm going to show you how that anatomy makes sense. So I'm scanning over the femur. You can see the popliteal vessels. I'm now just going to rotate the probe. So I'm scanning along the posterior aspect of the femur. As I'm doing that, you can see I'm resting on the surface of the femur. As I come down, you come to the femoral condyles there. You come back up. And at this point here, you're looking at the posterior aspect of the femur. Let me bring my pointer in again. So if you were going to be performing an IPAP block, you're literally putting local anesthetic in here. There's a popliteal artery and vein. You bring your low class in here, that's me looking underneath that. But I'm going to swing that around this way. And the only difference is that we're now looking at that side of the femur. So, to do an IPAP block from this way, get a nice view. You can straighten the leg again for us. Um, get a nice view of the femur. I'm going to drop your needle in from here and skirt past the, the, the femur and get a low class in that space between the popliteal artery, vein, and the posterior capsule of the knee. Hopefully that makes a bit of sense.